Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing? This is Ferris. Welcome back to the channel this evening. And it's just a beautiful day that it turned out to be. Bright and sunny and clear skies, nice and cool uh, temperatures and everything. We're back out here on the channel and um, we're checking out the 95 GMC 3500 pickup. Um, I finally well let's just say this thing isn't going back on the road anytime soon um i came back home today from uh one of my uh service calls and i was coming up the driveway and i heard a little ticking noise uh in the engine and it was ticking really bad it wasn't like a rod knock or nothing like that more like a lifter knock and uh, it wasn't running good it was like a miss in it so i started looking into it Took the air cleaner off, took the valve cover off to check what's going on uh, in the engine. Didn't find anything obvious uh, in the in, you know on the top of the engine. Rocker arms, push rods, uh, springs, and everything looks good on the top part. So I went a little further and I looked at all the spark plugs on the uh, on this right side here because this is where the noise was coming from on the right uh, uh, towards the rear of the engine. And number six cylinder uh, spark plug was all coked up i cleaned it up a little bit uh to see you know if anything might be the spark plug or something like that but if you look on the inside of the spark plug here it's all dirty and black inside built up with carbon <clears throat> and everything so i uh did a compression test on the uh number six cylinder now what you do with that you plug you take the spark plug out just like i have here and you uh, install a gauge that screws into the uh, to the port where the uh, spark plug goes. It has a gauge on the end of it and it tells you how much pressure that cylinder is building. Now, it has to have a certain amount of pressure inside that cylinder uh, for combustion to happen when the air fuel mixture gets in that uh, uh, in the cylinder and then uh, it compresses and causes the engine to run with that mixture. So, did a compression test on it on number six cylinder and number six cylinder is only showing 20 pounds of pressure it should be about 120 to 140 like all the other cylinders uh all the other seven cylinders but it is not so we've got a cylinder that's down on uh number six cylinder uh on this truck this uh, 5.7 tbi 350. so this one here is going to be parked for a while um what do you think you what do you think i should do with this truck i mean there's a lot of good parts on it it looks pretty good i mean that grill right there could go on the z71 that's sitting over there because that one there is all broken up um and i can use the z71 for work whenever i find an engine and um i also have the f-150 sitting over there um that's the one i'm gonna get on to next and finish it up in order to keep on running and uh, to keep on doing my uh, side jobs that you'll you all will see so i just thought i'd let you know what's going on with the uh, 95 gmc i mean it still runs and everything it runs like crap but and there's smoke coming out of the exhaust it's like raw fuel it's not burning the fuel a number six cylinder and um it's just not running right so i don't want to damage it anymore the engine's going to have to be uh pulled apart the heads out come off at least uh tear down the engine probably an engine rebuild on it but right now i can't afford a whole bunch of money uh for another engine you know more than 500 dollars. so that's where this one's at already and uh hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's enjoying the nice beautiful day that we have here uh, today being Sunday. Hope everybody is safe and feeling well um, uh, Send some likes send some comments see what you think uh, About this 95 uh, GMC 3500 uh, What do you think I should do with it? You think I should just part it out? Do you think I should sell the wheels off of it sell the parts off of it? Rebuild the motor Do another motor do an LS swap What do you think? Uh, should happen with this truck? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me hear your ideas. I know y'all have a whole bunch of ideas out there. Um, also, follow me on Instagram. 
Uh, Fearless Fly 100 is my Instagram page. You'll see a whole bunch of pictures about different things I'm working on. Uh, this is one of them up to now. And, um, and some other stuff that I'm working on. I'll definitely keep you all informed about uh, my other truck, the F-150 that I'm working on. As well as when I find a motor for the Z71. I'm looking for a motor for it. It's a 98 Z71. It's got the 5.7 Vortec. I'd love to get that one running. I'd love to get that one on the road. Um, you know, if I get that one running and everything, I'll definitely take all the stuff out of the F-150 and use that one for work, even though it's a little smaller truck, but I'd love to use it. So, um, hope y'all enjoying the day. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.